Hey, what is up guys? Aaron here, and I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys a cool little, um, you know, trick that I found um, with, uh, I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is non-retina. Um, I believe it is the 2010 model, um, but you guys need to watch this. And of course, over here I have my fifth generation iPod Touch. Um, this of course is the latest one. Now, look what happens when I move my uh, device towards the uh, this part of the keyboard. I'm just gonna swipe it around. Let's, uh, well, okay, let's try this. Okay, uh, a moment ago it was working. Basically, I would uh, take my iPod and kind of, you know, just move it towards there, and there you go. You guys can see that my, uh, my screen completely uh, dimmed itself. Um, let's try that again. Oh, there you go. So I don't know why that's happening uh, or what is causing it. You know, I could be seriously ruining my Mac um, right now uh, with some like ultra electromagnetic uh, pulse or or whatever. But you guys, um, that's really weird and, and uh, you know, just locked. Try it for yourself. Tell me if it works. I'm just, you know, going to move it on and off. Uh, it's never happened before, uh, and I'm not holding anything in my hand. Let's try that again. Of course, now you know my password. Okay, nothing is in my hands. Um, you can see it doesn't always work all the time. Let's see, maybe if I put my hand over here, it'll work. Um, not still not touching anything. All right, I guess it's not working now. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Are you having... Oh, there you go. Maybe because I pressed it. I don't know. So uh, does it work for you? Um, try putting your hand over here or something. Um, maybe that'll do it. Anyways, guys, that's all. I just wanted to show you that neat thing. Maybe it's because I'm running iOS 7. Um, and, okay, or whatever. Uh, that's all for this video. Of course, um, have a great day.